Lin Shei Wan rolls in Insidious, The Last Key, Left Hand, Kingpin, Universal, Everett Collection, at 74, character actress Lin Shei is finally, and deservedly, taking the lead in the newest installment of the hit horror series, Insidious, which began in 2010. Shay is not in touch with the ghost world in the way her insidious character, the spirit medium Elise Rainier, is. But, she admits, before we did the fourth one, the last key, out Friday, I had some weird stuff happen at my house. It started with drinking glasses. They would just jump out of my hand, she says. In two days, I broke about four glasses. I would be holding one, and it would either drop or seem to be flipped out of my hand. Then I choked on a pill at 2 in the morning, I was, all by myself. It stuck in my throat, I couldn't breathe. And then I found maggots in my house, under this little waste basket. There was nothing in it, no food. So I thought, I'm calling my friend with a sage, she says, referring to the herbs some people burn in their homes to bring positive vibes. He came over and walked through the whole house with sage. I'm not a fearful person, but I don't take chances. I thought, just in case, get the house clean before I start shooting this movie. I had fake eyelashes coming out of my nostrils. I put egg all over my face to make it wrinkly. I put oil in my hair. Shay has worked steadily in supporting roles since the 1970s. She played a teacher in 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street, and has popped up in assorted so bad they're good movies, including Snakes on a Plane and Big Ass Spider, but you're most likely to recognize her from her work in horror and comedy, particularly the 1990s gross-out movies of the Farrelly Brothers. The Detroit-born actress, who now lives in Los Angeles, points out that she's a highly trained dramatist. I'm a serious actor, I really am. I studied with Uta Hagen and Stella Adler, worked with famed method acting teacher, Lee Strasberg. I take my craft very seriously. But she made a big splash playing cartoonishly hideous middle-aged women in the comedies, Kingpin, and There's Something About Mary. And, she adds, she fought for those roles with Kingpin. They didn't want to see me for the part, she says. She was described as the angriest, ugliest woman God ever let loose on the planet. I thought, oh, my God, I want to play this. So she got to work assembling a costume the Ferellis wouldn't forget. I had fake eyelashes coming out of my nostrils. I put egg all over my face to make it wrinkly. I put oil in my hair. I came in for the audition, and a friend of mine walked by me three times before I said, Hey, it's Lynn. He said, Oh, my God. I thought you were off the street. She got the part, a repellent landlady who exacts payment from Woody Harrelson's character in the form of sex, and says it remains her favorite role. And I really made it happen. It empowers me to be able to go. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna go after it. Shay in 1998, There's Something About Mary, 20th Century Fox Film Corp, Everett Collection for her follow-up. She played Cameron Diaz's character's roommate in There's Something About Mary, a woman with ridiculously sagging breasts and such a lengthy tanning history she appears to be made of leather. I still have the boobs, she says with a laugh. Lately, though, she's appeared in many a horror movie as the wiser older woman. Some are scarier than others, Insidious, is near the top of the freakout list. In 2010, at the beginning of the series, director James Wan said, I have a script, and I thought you might enjoy this role. It made quite an impression. I read it in bed, and it was so scary I literally locked it in a closet downstairs. I just thought, she says, I really don't want to have this next to me when I go to sleep. Still, Shay is a proponent of getting spooked now and again. Fear is a very powerful emotion, she says, especially in a theater with a bunch of strangers. People try to hide it to appear strong, but there you're in a safe place where you can scream and howl and express all that. And then go home to your warm, safe 